Hello there everyone, uh, I figured today I would make a video finally tackling uh, the Spinosaurus either being a fully grown adult or a juvenile in Jurassic Park 3. Now this is a theory going around the Jurassic Park fan community, um, it's been going around for some time thanks to Spinosaurus the King um, who uh, is working diligently to prove that the Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3 was a juvenile and not a fully grown adult. And he's messaged me a fair bit uh, talking about this subject, trying to get my opinion on it. And I have, I have addressed this in previous live streams, but I figured it would prob probably be best if I focused a video um, on this subject. And uh, this only really came about because he sent me this video um, this morning asking me to watch it and to address what he brings up. Um, and instead of replying, I figured I'd make this video and just, you know, knock well, give my thoughts more clearly um, because there's a moment, I started watching this video and there's a moment in it right at the beginning where he kind of, I don't know if he me meant to, but he misaligns my position and makes it sound like I think something that I don't think. And so I wanted to, uh, to address it directly and sort of clear where my position lies on this subject um, because I know there's a lot of fans uh, out there who are uh, very passionate about this subject and and want to know what someone who has written about the Spinosaurus's backstory um, in the canon, what their thoughts are and uh, yeah so I figured I would, as I said, focus this video on it. So let's begin watching this video and then I will address it as we go through. We probably won't watch the whole thing though, just, just saying, uh, but yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? Spinosaurus the King here, and in this video, I'm going to be debunking that the engine Spinosaurus was a fully grown adult in Jurassic Park 3, so let's get started with debunking this claim. So to start off, apparently it's confirmed that the Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3 was not a hybrid, in that it's a scientifically accurate Spinosaurus, but only in the Jurassic World universe. So, this so that's the bit that got me, because obviously there's my name. Uh, so if you go into Google and you type in uh, what did what did he type in? Is the JP3 Spinosaurus a hybrid? And you get this answer, which is derived from the Jurassic Park fandom wiki. Um, that the question is: Is the Spinosaurus from JP3 a hybrid? And the fandom answer is no. This is a confirmed theory by Jack Ewins himself, not fact. Now this is kind of uh, well. This this headline sort of thing here is is not exactly false. But what Spinosaurus the King says, uh, what did he say again? In that it's a scientifically accurate Spinosaurus. So he's saying that it's a, I'm saying that it's a scientifically accurate Spinosaurus. That's not what I'm saying. Because if you actually click the link here to the Wikipedia, you get this page, uh, which is like the, the, uh, the poll. And if I could sign in, I would vote maybe, because <laughs> that's my actual answer. Um, and it can see here that this uh, person Kami, Kamikaze Pyro uh, replied saying, no, this is a confirmed theory by Jack Ewins himself, not fact. So that's where that line of, uh, you know, of my position comes from. And then he says his own thing here. Um, Spinosaurus is Spinosaurus and there's no concrete evidence otherwise, which is basically my opinion as well. And he's linked the picture here, which is of my Instagram story um, where I quoted Jason Kruger. Now, Jason Kruger said on Twitter, fact, the sky is blue. Theory, the JP3 Spinosaurus is a hybrid. There's a difference always seeing the fact that the Spinosaurus is a hybrid in any discussion, re it, and then being downvoted, harassed when asked for evidence beyond it's on the DPG website gets tiresome. And I agree with Jason here, because I said it's currently a theory. At this time, there is no right or wrong answer. So that's my answer. It's not that I think that the Spinosaurus was scientifically accurate in Jurassic Park 3. It's that... Currently, in the story, as it's currently written, um, it, no one exactly knows what the Spinosaurus is, whether it is a hybrid or whether, like, sort of a, an amalgamation of uh, species um, that, like, that was like an accident or something, or that it's meant to be what the Spinosaurus looks like within the Jurassic Park universe. Um, so there is no right or wrong answer, as I said on my Instagram story. So when Spinosaurus the King says that it's been debunked, that it's a hybrid, this is not true. This is not true. World universe. 
So to start off, if that's the case, then it looks like we won't be getting a scientifically accurate 2020 Spinosaurus in Jurassic World Dominion. Now, will we see any Spinosaurus at all in Jurassic World Dominion? I have no idea, but even though the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus is a scientifically accurate Spinosaurus and not a hybrid in the Jurassic World franchise, doesn't change the size I've been giving it of 18 meters long. So, yeah, so again, he he's right in terms of it doesn't change any size if it's a hybrid or not, um, but yeah, I, I personally didn't confirm that it wasn't a hybrid or was. <laughs> I, I'm totally fencing on this. Um, yeah, now I don't know if there's any much much more to say because uh, he goes into the sizes, but let's just see. Of 18 meters long and nine meters tall at the top of the sail and 16 tons in weight whatsoever. And here is why. The Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus looks identical to the 2005 to 2000. Yeah, no, we don't need to listen to this. Um, so I, I have watched this whole video, but um, uh, I don't know. There was something funny I wanted to mention. There's this size chart where you can see if you take the man is six foot. So he's, yeah, I don't know. Is that the same size as the animatronic? That's what I was having trouble kind of guessing because you look at the size of this Spinosaurus on this size chart that came with the um, the the DVD of Jurassic Park 3 and you compare so he's like up to its wrist his head or the beginning of its wrist and the head his it's not too his body length is about almost the head of the Spinosaurus isn't that much longer than his body length is what I'm trying to say um, and then you compare uh, uh, where is it to the actual animatronic that they built. Then that's not an adult. Like the Spinosaurus also, animatronic. Debunking, realistically, it's not an adult. There's no evidence at all, really realistic evidence to show he's an adult when the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus is big. Like granted, it's about the same size, but yeah, the, it hasn't got the legs. Yeah, I guess, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know, the size of the Spinosaurus seems to fluctuate like all dinosaurs do in the Jurassic Park movies, like they, they they change size a little bit. I mean look at this guy riding the sail up here. Um, but yeah, so my, my position is that the Spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3 is young because it was cloned in 1999 so it had the growth accelerators given to it so it got really big in, uh, in uh, when we reach it in 2001. Uh, whether that is the actual size of, uh, you know, whether it's fully grown or not, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Personally, I think it's fully grown, um, just because narratively, what's the point in having the Spinosaurus beat a T-Rex and be bigger than a T-Rex and then say, oh, it's even bigger than that. It's like, it, it doesn't really make sense to me. Um, and plus, you know, we don't know what exactly was going on with the creation of the Spinosaurus. Um, and also, here's the thing as well. Um, who's to say what exactly is fully grown for this, for any animal? Because you look at humans. What an adult human uh, can be one size and another adult human can be another size. And that is the same in the animal kingdom. So there is no definitive, uh, you know, length or height for a specific you you're going by the average so while the spine let's let's dive deep here and speculate here if the spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3 is fully grown it might not be the biggest adult that could exist for a spinosaurus in Jurassic Park 3 or it might not be even the smallest for the adult it might be the average size like the average mean size for a Spinosaurus. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to quickly address this uh, at this point and point out that there's a lot of people out there who are saying that I'm saying one thing when I'm not. So, And it even says it here. This is a confirmed theory. Theory being the key word there by Jack Ewens himself. So it's all over the place and it's just a bit of fun uh, to speculate. So... There we go. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this brief video and I will catch you in the near future. Um, please go over to my Patreon to support Dino Defenders and uh, catch my live streams every Sunday, 12 p.m. till 3 p.m. UK time. And I will see you guys later. Bye.